Today's the 21st of uh, July. <clears throat> Want to make a quick video. Um, <laughs> there's one of my chickens there in the chicken tunnel. Uh, I have, um, I've had the last couple years, I've had a huge problem with meadow voles on the property. And I normally just, I don't, I don't really want to hurt them. But what's happened is they have been so destructive. Um, it's not so much putting holes in the lawn. What happens is when winter comes, they actually, uh, they eat the roots of all my perennial plants. They destroyed my hostas. They will, they have, and they're, they're getting, uh, they're burrowing around the edges of my pond. Um, they eat the bulbs of, of, uh, plants. They actually ate some of my zucchini. I was pissed off about it, so... I did something that I never thought I would ever do. I'm poisoning them. I, I'm just, I'm tired of it. I really don't, I don't care anymore. Uh, I, I did the trap thing. I did all kinds of stuff. But when it came down to it, I just, I just want to get rid of them. So what I did is I found this little easy, you know, uh, safe way to just to keep pets and other animals out of their poison. So here's the poison blocks. They got a hole in them. And uh, I made this feeder. It's a two-inch piece of PVC pipe. It's a two-inch diameter. It's a seven-inch, seven-inch a T section, and an eight-inch section here. And what I do is I take a. Um, this is a piece of aluminum welding rod, and I bent it down here at the end, right? Um, and I stick a bunch of these things. It's self-feeding right in there. Whoop. They already ate one block so enjoy the rest boys and uh and there's a cap i'm gonna drill a hole in it and uh put it right on top just like that and so nothing could get it and then i to prevent water from going down in there i just put a plastic cup over the top of it and i've got uh five of these things I've got them all around the property in different locations where I know these goofy metal. Now, this is on the edge, the, the far western edge of my garden. Um, and uh, now maybe I'll get some tomatoes that don't get destroyed. And, uh, yeah. And they'll just keep feeding on that thing and they'll be dying off in their burrows. So, and let me, so this is my zucchini, right? Let me try to show you what I came across today. Where is that? Is this the one? Ah, all right. That's what I do is I typically just throw everything off to the side and pick it up a little later. I wanted to show you the damage that they do. And I never, I've been living here for a long time. I never had the problem that I do with them now. They've been this a real problem. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you see this? This is what metal voles will do to a zucchini. All right, so they got in here and ate this section. Yeah, uh, if you get any, it's just ridiculous. They start to get into everything that you uh, plant. And like I said, normally, I just let them be, but their numbers have gotten way out of control. And uh, considering that they're all throughout this, particularly the tall grass, that's why I cut this grass. I cut it to be real short. Um, just to prevent losing this. So, anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's a great way to get rid of them. Um, and they die in their burrows. So <clears throat> they're not running out, uh, getting eaten by other things that are going to poison them. So I know, like I said, I normally don't do that, but I'm at a point where I'm just desperate. I'm tired of it. So, all right, till next time.